want to have an animated customizable bot on your stream that reacts and interacts with your chat like this? Today I'm going to show you how. Stick around. Let's go. Hello everybody, Johnny here coming at you today with a cool tip on how to add a bit more interaction and flourish to your stream by setting up a bot like this, an animated bot that responds to commands in chat and all of that cool stuff. It is free and very easy to set up, so let's take a look. So follow the link in the description to kapamon.com. We're gonna log in with our Twitch user. There's some information in the main screen that we're gonna come back to in a moment, but let me direct you to some of the other tabs first and show you around. In the options tab, we can choose the direction the bot's gonna be facing, a couple other additions here, like changing color and linking our Spotify account. And moving on to the command tab, this is perhaps the most important one, where you're gonna define all the interaction with the bot, all of the commands it's gonna respond to, all of the things that it's gonna be doing. So there are a series of animations that you can associate to each command. For example, here, Whenever someone new comes into my chat, the bot is going to greet them with the greet animation. I also have a dance animation for whenever people do a song request, you know, anything like that. And I also have several custom ones, like for example, a victory theme plays with a certain animation associated. And you will see that you can have these set up to be triggered manually by text in your chat. They can be scheduled or they can be special events, like someone new coming into your chat and being greeted. Let's move over to the Marketplace tab. Now here is where you select the specific bot that's gonna show up. And most of them have the same animations, you know, greet, uh, dance, be sad, you know, several standard animations that all of them implement. And you can choose yours. Now there are several free ones that you can just choose right off the bat without investing a single dime on this. If you like it enough, you can choose to invest into some Kappa coins, which is the currency here, and that will allow you to buy different models. Let me just show you some of the free ones. We got the reindeer here on the right. If we move on to the second page, we have a cat. We have, of course, the Kappa bot standard bot down there. And I think we have at least two or three more, like, for example, the shooter, or the Cupid, so you can see there are several free options and you can play around with this plenty to figure out if you like it or not. If you want to invest into it further for a specific bot that really fits and jives with your material. So now you got your bot configured and ready to go. How do you add it to your scene in OBS or whatever program you're using? We're going to go back to our profile tab. We're going to go to stream URL. We're going to show and then copy that link over and we're going to make sure to create an object of these dimensions in our scene. So let's head over to OBS and take a look. If you're using any other software, it should be very easy to do exactly the same. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitch. We're live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturdays. So in our scene, we're going to head over to our sources panel and we're going to add a new browser object. I've already created mine here, so I can show you what it looks like. We're going to have our link coming from the Kapamon page. We're going to use the same dimensions from there, and we're simply going to click OK. Nothing else needed. I also have shutdown source when not visible, so whenever I'm not using this, it will actually shut it down and not consume any resources. Once you click OK, it's going to load that in, and you're going to be able to interact with it. For example, I can start typing in chat to pretend that I'm someone coming in and you'll see the bot will react to me coming in as we've discussed. We can also use some of our custom commands that we have set up and it will do custom animations and all of that good stuff. So now for bonus credits, let me show you how I'm using this in combination with my stream deck to get some cool stuff going. Thank you for sticking with me until the end here. I really appreciate it. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how I'm actually using this on my stream deck. What I have is a combination of two things. First, if we go into this group here, you'll see that I have a message that gets written into my chat and triggers the animation. In this case, it's when I make a bad joke, you know, something comes up saying your jokes are getting terrible or something like that. And then in addition to that, I also play a sound effect. So let's take a look at how that looks. There we go. 
Now, the cool thing here is that people in my chat can actually use the same command and they will get the same reaction from the bot, but no sound will play. Now, this means that it doesn't get obnoxious if someone is playing this over and over, the sound is playing a lot. Some people might choose to do that. For me, I prefer to have control over when sounds actually play on my stream. It's a personal choice and it's how I've chosen to set it up. But hopefully that kind of helped you. Let me know down below if it did. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.